Hey guys, my name's Stuart. If you're new here today, welcome to this channel. In this Asana tutorial for beginners, I'm going to walk you through how to use Asana in 2020. Asana is a powerful and free project management software designed to simply plan and manage team projects and tasks through an easy to use and streamlined project interface, which is ideal for small businesses. Now, just quickly before we jump into Asana, and if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing to stay updated with new and actionable videos designed to help your small business thrive online. And with that said, let's dive into this Asana tutorial for beginners. Okay, so here we are at asana.com. Now, the first thing we want to do is sign up with Asana. Now, to keep it really simple, Asana is a planning and management tool focused on team projects and tasks. So, the first thing we want to do is to sign up for free. Now, the great thing about Asana as a project management tool is it's free to use for up to 15 people, which is ideal for small teams, small businesses. So, what we want to do is head down here and click on try for free. Now what you want to do is pop in your email here, your business email ideally because this is going to help with integrations and adding your other teams within your business later on down the track. So there we go, I've just entered my business email, then I'm going to click try for free. Now all we need to do is verify our email, so I'm going to click continue with Google and select the same business email address which is actually a Google account. And then here what we need to do is just add your full name. Then pop down here and click continue. Here what you want to do is give Asana an idea of what you're all about. So what kind of work are you involved in? I'm going to come down here and select marketing. Now you have all these different options down here. So select the best option that represents what you do. So I'm going to select marketing and then come down here and click continue. Now here what Asana wants you to do is select the best option that kind of represents what you've been doing in the past in terms of managing your work. So for us we're going to come over here and select pen and paper as a lot of people do this and even from time to time we tend to uh, use just pen and paper to record notes and, and kind of document work and create to-do lists. So we're going to select this pen and paper option here and then come down here and select continue. Now what you'll notice when we jump onto the dashboard once we've finished our sign up is your project, your dashboard is really broken down into three areas. You have your project, then you have the sections within your project, and within each section you have tasks. And with each of these projects you can choose to create a list, like structure, a board, a visual board, timeline or calendar. Now the timeline option you actually have to upgrade to use this option, this feature. But with the free version of Asana, you can create lists, boards, or calendars, which are just different kind of types to view your projects, which we'll dive into a bit more later on. So if we pop over here, let's set up your first project. What's something you and your team are currently working on? So we're going to type in website design. And this is the project we're currently working on. And we're going to come down here and click continue. Now this is just setting up your Asana dashboard. We can add more projects and tasks down the track. What are a few tasks that you have to do for web design? So we're going to come down here and type in logo design. Then we're going to come down here and type in SEO, which is a marketing activity within web design. And then the last task is content. And like I said before, this is just the setup. We can add more projects and tasks once we've completed this initial setup. So come down here and click continue. And here what we want to do is add our tasks into sections or stages. And this is just a great way to manage all our tasks so it's streamlined and it's easy to kind of understand for our team. So for now I'm just going to leave it as a to do, doing and a complete or done uh, section. So as you can see here we've got to do, doing and done. So we've got these three tasks under to do which need to be complete. And then as our team starts working on each of these tasks, we can move them to doing and then complete or done. So come down here once you're happy with that and click continue. Now you can change these later on down the track. Now here what we want to do is select the layout that best works for our project and for our team. Now we can change this later on down the track. So we have list here and this is what list is going to look like. We also have the option for a board which is more visual. Then we have timeline 
and calendar. For now, we're just gonna focus on a list structure because that's kind of easier to follow. So select the best layout for you. Come down here and select continue. Congratulations, you have created your first project in Asana. Now we'll dive deeper into projects, tasks, and sections a bit later on down the track. For now, you can come down here, and if you like, you can add your team member's email address, but we can do that again later on down the track. So for now, we're gonna come down here and click take me to my project. Now Asana will ask if you want to upgrade to a paid plan, but for the purpose of this tutorial we're just going to use the free plan because that's sufficient enough for our small team. So we're going to come over here and select continue with our limited version. And congratulations, you have just completed the initial sign up and you've created your first project. You've added some tasks and sections as you can see on your dashboard. So this is your Asana dashboard and this is where the magic happens. So the first thing we wanna do here is create your teams because most likely you have a small team that you wanna work with on projects, on tasks. So the first thing we wanna do is create those teams. Now come over here and as you can see, we've already got one team, we've got a marketing team and we'll show you how to invite people in a second. So first of all, let's create a team. So click add team and think about your teams as departments, departments within your organization. So at the moment we've already got marketing. Now here what we're gonna add is sales a sales team. Then you can click on description to add a description about the team if you like and come down here and add the members emails within your organization that are part of the sales team. And as you can see I've added one member to the sales team. Now you can come down here and we only have one option for the free plan and that's membership by request so they can join this team when they receive the invite in their email. Then I'm going to come down here and select create team. And it's as simple as that to create a team. Now to add people to your team or to invite people, all you need to do is come over here and select the teams. So remember we've got our teams here, we've got marketing and sales. Then to invite people to this particular team, just click invite people. And here you can select the team. So again, I'm just gonna select marketing. Then come over here and select the project that you want this individual to be part of. So again, he's in marketing and he's gonna help with the web design project. So I'm gonna select web design, which is the only project we've created so far. And then come down here and add the email address of that individual. And as you can see, I've just added one email address. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just gonna add one member and they're gonna be part of the marketing team and they're gonna be working on the web design project. Now, if you wanna add additional emails, just click comma and then start typing the other email address of the member you want to invite. So for now, I'm gonna leave it at that and click send. So it's extremely simple to create teams and add people to your teams. So as you can see down here, we've got the two teams, like I mentioned, we've got two individuals that are part of each team, and then we've got one project here under marketing. Now to create a project, all you need to do is come down here and click create a project. Now this is gonna be for sales, so under the sales team, we're gonna come down here and like I said, we're gonna click create project. Now you have the option to select a template to build off, but for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just gonna create a blank project. Now what I recommend is selecting one of these templates that represent or are similar to the project that you're trying to create. And when you do that, you kind of get an idea of how you can create your own project. But for now, we're gonna start from scratch and come across here and select blank project. Here you wanna name your project and then come across here and select the team. So for example, we've already selected sales, so we're gonna leave it as sales. So that's the project that's gonna be within the sales team for the sales team to work on. You can click on add a description if you wanna add a brief description so everyone has an idea of what this project is about. Now down here you can select the view of your project, so the layout, which we briefly explained when we initially set up Asana. So we've got the list view at the moment, you can select board or calendar, however you can change this at any time. So we're gonna leave it as a list, and then we're gonna come down here, and we're gonna select public to sales team. Now you can also go private if it's just something you're working on, but because we're working on this particular branding project with our sales team, we're gonna leave it as that, and then come down here and click create project. 
And as you can see, we've created our new project called branding. Now to add a task, just come down here and click add task. Then name your task. And then once you've added your new task, click enter. And then you can add another task. And then you wanna add a section under this project. So the section is gonna be called residential. And we're gonna add one more section, which is gonna be commercial and click enter. So now all you need to do is drag these tasks and put them under the section. So I'm gonna put that uh, residential branding and sales under residential. And in commercial, I'm gonna drag this under commercial branding and sales. So there we go, we've got two sections with one task under each section. And you can continue adding other sections and tasks based on the way you want your project to look. Now I can come down here and click one more and I'm gonna write completed tasks and click enter. Now if we come up here, you can see that this is a list structure. We can click board to view it as a board. So as you can see, we've got no section here. You can edit that, you can delete it. We've got residential, then we've got the task under that section. We've got commercial, another section, and then this task, and then completed tasks. And then if we complete each of these tasks, we can move them over to completed tasks. And again, we've got timeline, which is only available in the paid plan, which I mentioned earlier, and we have calendar. So calendar is great when you have project timelines and deadlines. So we're gonna head back to list, and then we're gonna come down here, and we're gonna select this particular task. And that's gonna bring up details for us to edit. So we can assign individuals here. So if I click here, I'm gonna add myself. I can add others if I like. I can add a due date, for example, I could go a week out from now. Then we can come down here and add a quick description, or we can add a subtask. So for example, 10 door-to-door -door sales. So that could be a subtask under residential branding and sales. So again, I can come over here and add a due date. I can assign an individual to complete this subtask, and I can communicate or add a comment. And as you can see, we can add some comments, questions, or updates down below. So it's very simple, it's very straightforward. You can come up here and you can also add attachments. So if I click here, I can upload from the computer, Dropbox, Google Drive, Box, OneDrive, SharePoint. So very easy to upload files that are relevant to this particular task and project. Then if I'm happy with all this, I can click leave. And there we go, we're back at our overview of this particular project. So again, we can click on board to view the board layout if you're more visual. And then again, we can come over to calendar if you have particular timelines with each project. And as you can see, we've got this task that's due on the 25th, which is a week from now. So this is a very cool layout. You can see exactly what is happening in each of the days. So it's a very nice streamlined calendar layout. We can click up here to turn weekends on. We might have tasks done in the weekends as well. So I like that kind of like full layout. You can view the different months over here. Then you can come up here and you can share this with additional team members. So very straightforward to create uh, projects, create tasks and subtasks within each project. You can also come across here and click my tasks, which is a great place to see exactly what's been happening, what tasks you need to get completed within each of your teams. So this is a great dashboard for all your tasks in one place. And then you can click on calendar and see some of these projects that are coming and files that people have uploaded. So very straightforward. Again, you can change the layout from list to calendar or board. So very simple and straightforward. Now Asana is very similar to Trello. Now if you haven't heard of Trello, what I'll do is I'll pop a link up above, which will take you through a Trello tutorial, which is another project management software. However, with Trello, it's more of a visually pleasing uh, structure and layout, whereas Asana is more for those that like a list-based structure. However, the great thing about Asana is that you can also structure your workflows visually like in Trello. Trello just has a bit more color, and if you really like that kind of visual um, structure of layouts, of tasks, then Trello is a better option for project management. However, that is the basics to getting started with Asana in 2020.
And there we have it, that is it for today's tutorial. You should now be comfortable with getting started and making the most out of Asana in 2020. Now if you have any questions, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you got value, you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like down below. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Take care guys. Thank you.